Next, Kitty's off to County Clare to visit Irish Seed Savers Association. They're Ireland's only public seed bank, and their role is to protect Ireland's heritage and indigenous seeds for future generations. Hidden in the Arctic ice on a remote island in the Svalbard archipelago is a storage facility known as the Doomsday Vault, or its real name is the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. It was created in 2008 to protect the world's crop diversity, and they currently store over a million varieties of seed. The Irish government to date have sent 418 seed samples. Chagas and the Oak Park Research Centre have sent a further 577 samples to Norway. And based near the village of Scariff in County Clare is the Irish Seed Savers Association, who have sent a further 17 varieties of seed to the vault. And they plan to send more Irish heritage seeds there in the future. The Irish Seed Savers Association has built the country's only public seed bank with over 600 non-commercially available varieties of heritage and heirloom seeds. At Irish Seed Savers, we, we conserve, protect and utilise Ireland's food crop heritage. We grow vegetables, we keep some of the seed for conservation purposes and other parts we sell to the public, so it's conservation through use. In terms of global production, are they a controlled product? Four corporations control about 60% of the world's seeds. So these seeds are F1 hybrid seeds. If you plant this vegetable and you grow it to seed, that seed cannot be used again to grow the same type of vegetable. It won't be true to type. We grow organic, open pollinated seed. They've been saved from generation to generation and passed down from generation to generation, which is why they're sometimes called heirloom seeds, sometimes called heritage seeds. Like the fact that so many animals are endangered and becoming extinct, it's mainstream knowledge, but I really feel with plants, the, you know, the, the information's not really out there. People are usually unaware that about 90% of our crop varieties have been gone from farmers' fields since the 1900s. So once these varieties are lost, they're lost. For you, Sinead, what are the things that resonate most with you? We are not supporting the big commercial seed giants and we're supporting our local agriculture and keeping diversity alive in our gardens. It is very clear that saving our seeds is vital for protecting our seed heritage, but it can also play a big part in our national food security. People will always need seeds to grow, and recently we have seen the effects and concerns regarding food security and supply chains being put in the spotlight. I suppose we're in a time at the moment which is quite uh, un in uncertain, I suppose, uh, for food security. With what's going on with Brexit, a lot of people would have traditionally gotten their seeds from the UK. There's um, what's going on in the Ukraine, that's, a, that's obviously having a big impact. The diesel prices going up suddenly to transport the seed becomes more expensive. Uh, the whole seed issue is a very, very broad one. For those that might not know, what is the difference between growing seed and growing food? I suppose the biggest difference is time, the amount of time your crop is going to be in the ground. If we take a look at this, uh, this lettuce here, uh, canasta, it would take about six to eight weeks, two months to, to grow as a food crop. And it'll take another four months uh, to, to actually produce seed before we can harvest it. Observation is key through the entire process because it, when you're producing seed, the seed that you sow is uh, the plant that grows the whole way through is going to produce the seed quality. In the dry surrounds of the seed vault, Deirdre, one of the head seed savers here on site, begins the process of drying out some seeds. These are our seeds here. And just even looking at the diversity between the colours here, you know. And the shapes and, so and the, the, shapes, sizes. the sizes. yeah. So how long do the seeds last? Well, it depends on the crop. So like a parsnip will only last for a year and so we would grow parsnips every year and save the seed every year. But things like peas, if they're held in the right conditions, cool, dry and dark, then they can last up to 10 years. And are there further plans to send more seed to Svalbard? Well, yes, it's always important to have those backups. Look at, at um, the Ukraine now, you know, seed banks are nearly always one of the th first things that are hit in wars because if you control the seed bank, you control food. You know, it is very important to have a long-term storage like Svalbard and to keep, you know, putting deposits there. But it's equally as important, if not more, to keep those varieties alive, to keep growing and to keep saving seed. <laughs>